Hello again, Lothar here, PCT3 Hunker 21. Uh, this is part two of my uh, video on post and resupply. So this is why I'm going to focus on some of the specific locations on the PCT and some of the decisions I made and some of the mistakes I made. So first one, uh, probably the first place you're going to consider doing a resupply is going to be a place called Mount Laguna. Now it's about 40, 45 miles in. Um, now you've got two choices. If you look on the lists, so if you do a search online for PCT resupply addresses, Against Mount Laguna, you're probably going to see two addresses. One is the Mount Laguna Lodge and Store, and the other is Mount Laguna Post Office. Now, um, uh, when I arrived, uh, I walked into the store and I basically asked for my parcel, and uh, they had this big wall of uh, parcels against the wall, and uh, they searched and searched and they couldn't find it. And I thought, oh dear, oh, it's my first parcel, my first ever USPS parcel, and they failed. That was my, that was my reaction. What I hadn't realised was, uh, and a, point, a hiker in the store pointed out to me, um, that there was the post office, and the post office was six feet that way. And I thought, ah, and I suddenly thought, Tush. I hadn't realised I probably actually sent it to the post office, not to the store, even though they're six feet apart, which is uh, very unusual to find places that close together. But uh, anyway, I went next door to the post office, and lo and behold, my parcel was there. So I very nearly walked out of town thinking my parcel had been lost. But um, Word of warning, the store, um, I think, charges a fee for holding the, the box, but ch again, check on the listings. But the advantage of sending it to the store is the store hours are much more open uh, and flexible than the post office. So you may ha have to make the decision about um, where you want to send your parcel, but both work fine. That's the first one. The next place you might consider is Julian. Uh, Julian is a place where you get to Scissors Crossing in the desert, and then there's a road, there's only one road, uh, that basically goes straight up to Julian, uh, up the hill. Um, uh, lovely place to visit, you get free pie, um, resupply, good place to resupply and rest if you need it. Uh, next big decision point is Warner Springs. Now historically they have a community centre there that's been closed for the last couple of years because of Covid. Uh, it may reopen in 2022, I don't know, but again look on the listings. But the fallback is that there is a Warner Springs post office, which is basically half a mile around the corner. You have to hike around there, it's not too, too onerous. Staff there are very, very helpful. And I did a resupply box there, and that worked fine. Um, the next one you've got to consider is um, a place called Paradise Valley Cafe, and this is a junction uh, Highway 74 where you're just about to climb up towards uh, Mount San Jacinto. Now it's very close to a place called Idlewild. Now sometimes people go up to a place up the ridge towards Mount, Mount San Jacinto and then go down into Idlewild and resupply there. My advice would be go to Paradise Valley Cafe and either have your stuff shipped there, uh, they, they accept parcels, or have it shipped to Idlewild, but hitch in from uh, Paradise Valley Cafe, uh, collect your stuff, um, because you may face ice and snow on, on the climb up to Mount San Jacinto, um, and that's where you want to have your ice axe and microspikes. So I shipped my, my cold weather gear to Paradise Valley Cafe and picked it up there, um, but that worked fine, worked, worked fine for me, uh, but obviously you can make your own decisions. Um, next one is Big Bear. Now in Big Bear there are two post offices, the Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake. Now. In the past, the reviews of Big Bear City, which is slightly uh, further east and closer to the trail, but it's actually less uh, surrounded by all the useful stores and, and resupply points. Um, the post office re reviews have been questionable, shall we say, uh, but last year they were very positive, so obviously they've changed something. Um, uh, the other post office is Big Bear Lake. That's the one I chose, but it's, m it's much more central to all the stores. Um, but it's further away from the cheap hotel. So you've got to balance between do you want to be at the Motel 6, which is cheap, and then walk into um, Big Bear Lake Post Office, uh, which is what I did, uh, or you can uh, have your parcel shipped to Big Bear City. But they're in, historically, there have been some problems with that, that getting parcels there from that, that post office. I don't know, but hopefully it's been resolved. Um, uh, next place that I worth mentioning is Wrightwood. Now Wrightwood is quite possibly one of the best, if not the best, place for hikers. They just generally geared up, being very friendly, very helpful. The whole community um, supports the hike, hikers cuts they come through. Um, and I had a lovely experience there um, where I went to the post office, picked up all my resupply parcel, um, and then went to the store, got some um, more food and other things that I needed. And then I was, as I was leaving the supermarket, uh, I was fully packed up, ready to get back on trail, and I was hiking across the, the car park, and I got to the sidewalk, and I stuck out my thumb, and the instant I stuck out my thumb, this truck literally just stopped right next to me. 
And the guy leaned out and said, do you want a lift? And, and I started laughing. And he, and he said, no, don't worry. I was watching you as you came out of the, uh, of the store, walking across the car park. And I guess you needed a, high, a hitch up there. And he was just lovely. And I think that's, I think, point one of a second. I don't know if that's a world record for the fastest possible hitch, but he, it was lovely. That's the whole, that's Wrightwood, sums up Wrightwood. It was just every, everything worked beautifully and very friendly. Um, other places down the trail, Acton, uh, KOA, um, and I've got this, uh, Aqua Dulce, very nice places, all supportive of hikers, accepting parcels. Um, uh, then I think you've got Hiker Town, where you can go and pick up stuff from various places, various stores, you've got options there to send stuff to there. Um, next big one is um, uh, Tehachapi, it's a major town. Um, so I, I did a, a stop over there where I had I, I actually opened my some resupply boxes and my spares boxes and you know, repaired a few things and that and then I set up my parcels for the first stage up to Kennedy Meadows and up to um, uh, the first steps into the Sierras so I, I did some planning from there um, next thing is the big one is obviously Kennedy Meadows South now that's the the doorway or the open the gateway to the Sierras um, great place there now there are two resorts there now when you first come off the trail, you're going to hit a place called the General Store, and this is where they they clap you in, and all the hikers who are there clap you in, and you um, basically uh, get a sort of sticker. This is I got the clap on the PCT, um, uh, and that's at the General Store, and you can pick up parcels there. Now I think again, check it. I think they charge a fee for collecting parcels, uh, but that's their choice, um, and you can get food and some resupply. Now. Uh, there is a second place which is called Grumpy Bears. Now there's a shuttle service that takes hikers to and from the general store to Grumpy Bears. Now Grumpy Bears in my opinion is actually preferred because they have a bar restaurant, um, they have free camping, the same as general stores have free camping as well, but they accept parcels for free, again they did when I was hiking, and the other thing is they also offer a capability to send parcels out as well um, without charging extra fees as well which i thought was brilliant now obviously they're geared up towards supporting hikers and giving the services that hikers need um, and i think they've got it the balance just right uh, there's also an added bonus to the fact you've got the triple crown as outfitters there which is hosted by a lady who's done the triple crown multiple times a uh, very friendly lady who's giving you know free advice uh, free free bandanas um yeah so everything around grumpy bears seems to be a bit more organized for my opinion than maybe the general store but actually you arrive at the general store first and then have to make the decision do I shift to Grumpy Bears and again that's a personal choice uh, next one so um, once you've gone into the Kennedy Meadows you, you obviously you're doing a resupply through the Sierras your um, my next one was at uh, Independence um, and you can go up to Bishop um, do some resupplies there they they have post offices there that work fine um, my big one also was Mammoth Lakes. Now, Mammoth Lakes, I love Mammoth Lakes because it was just, it had everything, it had everything you needed. And again, the post office was, was very, very good and very, very helpful. So uh, certainly uh, look at doing a, a stop over there in the zero and planning your, again, some boxes for the future going down the trail. Uh, next one is Ptolemy Meadows. Now, Ptolemy Meadows is a bit difficult because it's a, it is a bit remote um, and there are times and dates when the resort actually opens. So be careful in terms of timing your visit there and when you send parcels there, make sure that the resort is open and the burger bar is open and you actually want to stop there. Um, I did and it was, I was very lucky it was open and again it's very good. When it's open it's very good uh, but be careful it's some, place, some places and some resorts are not open early in the season. Um, you've then got other places through the Sierras and then as you come out you've got Kennedy Meadows North. So this is a, a resort off trail, uh, very popular, um, again staff are very very friendly, you get a free shuttle down to the, the resort. Uh, and they accept parcels and uh, they also offer a service of shipping out your bear canister uh, which is great because you, this, you've, you've gone through this season, this is the one place where you can actually get rid of it uh, so they've got a service where you buy 20 or 30 dollars depending on how much how heavy it is what you're shipping in it uh, and they'll ship your bear canister out which is a, a great service so it's again um, uh, very very appreciative of that uh, but this is also one of those locations where because it's so remote the the actual usps service will not deliver there so I, I had to get a, a UPS delivery especially and they were two days late and that's where uh, I was held up so um, again my, uh, my own mistake for not allowing more time for, for the UPS to make deliveries um, uh, but after that going north then the, you've got lots of you've got lots of pl places to do resupplies you've got South Lake Tahoe you've got I'm just looking at the list here you've got Chester, Burnie, Ashland um, uh, Etna was a place I loved um, great little friendly town um, Trout Lake again very geared up like a mini Wrightwood uh, again great great places all of which are geared up to support hikers so I'd certainly look at all these all places where I aim to send parcels and resupply uh, one downside was uh, I had a bad experience at Snoqualmie 
Pass, which is at Summit, it's at Summit Inn, was the hotel. Uh, they receive boxes, um, and uh, that seemed to work well. That the reception seemed to work well. But when you asked if you could ship stuff out, um, they had a system whereby the, they would print out labels for you. But you, they said the only way to do it is if you actually went online, created an account f with the USPS, and then pay for it online, and then. Uh, they will print out the label for you, so they'll do the printing service. So I guess that's all they they felt they could do, and I and I do understand it's probably a logistics thing they didn't want a, a headache they didn't want. But what they didn't tell you was, as a foreigner, um, to some of the European people, they they started going through this process, and then they learned very quickly, or sorry, about three quarters of the way through the process. Oh, you must have a US address that matches your US credit card before you can set up an account. So you basically wasted an hour only to realise you can't actually do it. So, um, so I think Summit in could probably organise their systems a little bit better, but. In fairness, they I think they were doing their best under the circumstances. Um, but um, after that, I had uh, I think other places uh, that are worth a mention. There's one place in particular I think I, I really really loved um, the post office. There was at Stehekin, which is a, a lovely resort, a lake resort. You can only access by either the trail or by boat. Um, there's a very small post office there, and the guy who was um, behind the counter went above and beyond to help me uh, with a parcel um, and uh, find locate things for me. So, uh, if I had to vote the the top te the top number one post office by far, because of what he did to help me, um, was the guy at Stahican. So, medals or galore, and thank you very much for that. So, you're going to find um, in general everyone's in the post offices are trying to help you. Some will do, we go a little bit further, um, but in general you will have very little problems. You're going to screw up a few times because you'll get the dates wrong, or you'll get the address mixed up, or you'll you'll, you'll arrive too early. Uh, you know, you're gonna. I, I let one parcel go, which was full of food, which I just thought I can't be bothered to wait for, but it was my own mistake. Um, so just be flexible. I wouldn't plan too far ahead. Um, uh, that, again, that's my just my philosophy. Um, I love being adaptable. My mileage changed dramatically, unexpectedly at certain times. Uh, sometimes I felt really, really good, and I was knocking out the miles galore, and that changed my logistic strategy completely. And other times I wanted to slow down. So uh, again, being that flexible, not not committing too much um, uh, in resupply, again will allow you to adapt. And if you have to come off trail, then you don't have to worry about oh, I've got four boxes in, in the system. What am I going to do? So uh, anyway. Hope this is helpful to you. Hope the philosophy is helpful, um, and uh, wish you all the best in your resupply. And um, yeah, as I said, you're going to make a few mistakes, but that's half the fun. So uh, anyway, take care. Hope you find this useful.